uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back so in this video let's do the the live programming and we will try to create all the resources like controller services entities and we will have the apis available okay so what we need to do is this is our controller right and first of all what we will do is we'll populate the entity so let's go to the entity and let's create technology dot entity dot ts okay so what this entity is this entity is the orm representation for writing this right so what we will do is uh, we'll use these annotations entity and here this thing is okay my table name for this entity is the technology so i have a technology table uh, or i want to create it right export default class and this is my class using which i will access this particular entity okay there are few things like we are writing a typo rm entity definition so we will be using one as a primary key so we will just import all these missing imports let me just import this import all missing imports okay that should fix our things okay now what all cal columns we are going to have if we just look at our uh, diagram then we know okay we are going to have the name so technology can be a root technology where we are talking about design development devops and there is a there are children technologies which are like java javascript ruby python they can be the children's of the programming for devops we can talk about kubernetes docker ci cd they can be children of devops right so here we have a column name and let's see what all other columns we are going to have is let's copy this okay name description we can have that can we, we we do not want to put a length here and nothing like unique but we can have the name unique because technology name will be unique and what else we can have is is deleted let's say which will be a boolean if you want to delete and type will be boolean so it will create a boolean column and here you can pass a different argument like default what you want to pass default is let's say deleted false right and if it is a nullable i mean we put a default then there is no point of having a nullable there is a argument nullable which you can mark it as a true that means it it will be a nullable true now other is a timestamp thing like created it and updated it you just need to specify that in your entity also and there are important things is like if you want to do not want this attribute in your any of your query right or in the response then you can just specify this is select false okay so now we have one requirement here right let me just import this missing thing it is complaining what we want to have is uh, we want to have a parent child relationship in the same table table right so it's kind of a self join we are trying to have so we are trying to so this is my table let's say id uh, name and parent so parent will be null if you are talking about the technology name is a devops developer or a design or something like that but for java like uh, the name is java right for this the parent will be the id of the programming technology right so that kind of relationship we wanted to maintain so we are going to use these kind of annotations many to one one to one one to many and many to many so here we are actually going to reference the same table right so we will use many to one and what we are going to specify here so if you know a little bit of typo rm then it is very easy to understand but we will try to understand it so we are pointing many technologies will point to one technology right and you can say event and any argument that is point to the same id of it right so we are trying to create a foreign key relationship with the same primary key okay uh, 
this should be fine now what we need to do is when why it is complaining okay and the the field name is just a parent and it is of type now what will be the type of this type is technology because it will point to this technology only i will import this definition okay now everything is fine now you created this entity what that did this means right you have actually created a database representation of class now we'll use the reverse engineering let's say i created this entity and i have this orm config.ts which has all the definitions okay you have to read the entities from this folder you have to read the entities migrations from this subscription from this we will write migrations first we are just talking about this entities so we are going to get this from the disk folder we have to run the build so when you do npm run build then we are creating this disk folder inside that domain entities and all okay let's do this so we have to go inside the container for this right we will just do the manual build and then we will actually run this particular command docker pack okay let's go to package.json because type orm provides all these commands where you can actually create the migration run the migration or you can actually generate the migration and you can also sync also so what this thing will do, now what we can do is we can go inside the container and try to do try to create uh, the entity table from this entity how it works is we already have this orm config.ts and we have the respective type orm commands to generate entity tables from the entities so here you can see we are looking for the entities inside this particular folder if there are entities are there then you can run this particular command like npm run db sync or npm run uh, all these commands migration generate migration create npm run db sync all these commands we can use to actually create new migration run the migrations or synchronize the database so this we will not use in the production like uh, db sync now we can run uh, npm run db sync so what it will do is it will look for all the entities we have created and uh, it also executing npm run db migrate db migrate command i think we don't have so i can just erase this out it will just run this db sync which will actually converting these entities into the tables and currently we don't have a migration folder created there is no migration we have written what we did is we just created an ent entity and we want to see that in the database right so this command should be able to help us on that we already can see in the dist folder app domain entities we can see this technology entity and uh, this type rm cli will read that entity and will create will create that so we can see that this creating a new table technology table has been created right and it also added a constraint right so this is like one way of uh, creating the migration and another script we just have removed that's why it is showing error but when i run this it will work fine okay so it has created a table for us similarly what we can do is you can keep creating your entities define the relationships and this will help you this db sync utility will help you to create the updates so if i do some if i introduce a new column uh, let's say uh, what i do is i will just change a particular column i will just add a new column there which is we can alter this and i'm adding one more column which is tesc just for an example okay now what we need to do is we need to run the build so that we can get the typescript i mean compiled javascript file and then we can run this npm run db sync utility again what it will do is it will do the same thing it will see okay what is not synchronized between your entity class and the database table and it will see okay there is a new column let's create it okay this is how uh, this db sync utility works okay so initially for few tables 
we will play around with this db sync we will create our entity class we will get these tables but later we will actually create the migration for each and every table the create uh, query create table with these columns create table with these columns and also we will define the relationships using by manual uh, manually adding the constraint in the tables okay so i hope uh, this is really helpful in the next video we will add our entities and we will expose these apis